Hi, boys and girls. Today, we are going to start a story called Future Flowers. And spring is when most bulbs bloom. Did you know the work required to grow them takes place in the fall? It's pretty neat, yeah, in the fall. Future Flowers provides us with a look at what it takes to get ready to grow some amazing flowers. All right, you guys ready for our story, Future Flowers? Hi, everybody. My name is Mr. Crow, and I am going to be reading a story today called Future Flowers. It is a level D book, and it is from our Reading A to Z series. Let's get started on our story. Future Flowers. All right, our question we're going to be asking while we're reading this story is, how can you prepare for spring? How can you prepare for spring flowers in the fall? All right, words we're going to know. We're going to see the words bulbs. Fall, plan, plant, spring, and winter. Fall is a time to plan for flowers. Calendar back there on the wall says September. But winter is coming, Rick said. Fall is a time to get busy outside. But winter is coming, Rick said. Cute little rabbit back there hopping around. Fall is a time to dig in the dirt. But winter is coming, Rex said. Got the icicles hanging off the, uh, the house. Fall is the time to plant some bulbs. But winter is coming, Rex said. You can't have anything growing in the garden when there's snow, can you? Winter will come with snow and cold. Looks like they're enjoying some hot chocolate. Got some blankets on. Little kitty cats asleep. Winds howling and rolling in the background. Then comes spring. Hope oh, the cat's playing with butterflies. We just read a story earlier about butterflies. We got butterflies growing. We got all these real pretty flowers that are grown. So when spring comes, so do the flowers. So let's talk about what do flowers need to grow. Let's think about what we saw in the book, the different things. And then let's create a graph of our favorite types of flowers and show them to your classmates. What is your favorite kind of flower? Mine might be the sunflower because when it dries up, you can eat the sunflower seeds. So not only do you get to see the pretty flower, but you also get to eat it. So that's always exciting. Well, boys and girls, thank you so much for reading with me and our story, Future Flowers. I look forward to our next story that we'll read together, and I can't wait to see you then. Bye.